Hey, welcome everyone! Welcome back to another wonderful day here on Strife Farm in Stardew Valley. Let's check the weather report very quickly. Uh, it's gonna snow tomorrow, and the fortune teller says that the spirits are mildly perturbed today, so that's not too great. Uh, today, guys, I don't really know what to do with myself. Um, I've definitely got to get myself over to Clint's to uh, crack a bunch of geodes open. Um, I've got, some, I've got some food that I don't need to be carrying around on me as well. Go ahead and stash those. Um, let's see. Oh man, preserve jars are turning over right in front of me. Okay then, so we'll go ahead and stash that. Uh, we've got other things to throw into some of the chests as well. I got back from the mines very late last night. Didn't have time to uh, sort through everything that I had on me, so. Uh, we need to create a whole bunch of, um... Refined quartz, and I've also got a bomb to stash, and I've got other stuff to stash. I've got stuff to stash everywhere. There's no place that isn't safe. Every location in this house is uh, a potential stashing location. I hope the popo don't come along and look at my operation, because I am in serious trouble if they do. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> Where's Abby? Is Abigail in today? I think she's out on the porch today. Where's my dear Honey Boo Boo? <laughs> I feel ridiculous saying that, Honey Boo Boo. Go ahead and stash the, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Stash it. Hey, Abby. Spent the morning repairing a few of the fences. They should be good as new. Thanks a whole lot. I also filled Digit's water bowl. I always, I always forget to put some snacks in my pocket. Rumble. Aw, oh, no problem. Go inside, get yourself something to eat. I mean, we've got plenty in the fridge. Uh, ba ba ba. And the preserves can go away as well. And what was it? Ah, yes! I need to make some... I, I need to cook some quartz. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll also make additional coal in uh, all of these kilns. We've got more maple as well. Uh, now I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the barnyard animals. It's a great day in Stardew Valley, and you know what? I feel, I feel a real serious sense of peace being in Stardew Valley today. And it's because the, the end is right around the corner. My finish is, is right on top of us, practically. There's just a few more days left to the season. And then it's gonna be complete. Uh, you know what I am gonna do? I am going to make some more mayonnaise machines because I have so many fli- frickin' eggs. Um... And I'm not- I, I can't- I can't process all of the eggs in the mayo machines that I've got, so... What does it take to make a mayo machine? Wood, stone, earth, crystal, and copper. Hey, that's not difficult to make at all. Okay, that's cool, so let's go ahead and just stash a whole bunch of these eggs here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop in, take care of the pigs and the cows. Alright, Clint, we've got some geodes to process here. Quite a few, really. Um, five copper. We've got one stone. Whatever the lunarites, I already donated that, I know it. An omni geode. What the crap is that? A dwarf something. Some clay, and... What the heck is that? Yes, Jasper. I think I already have this. Uh, when polished, the stone becomes actively luminous, prized by ancient people for thousands of years. Dwarven Gadget. Gunther can tell you more about this. So we do have at least one thing to give to Gunther today, which is a nice change of pace, actually having something to donate. Hello. What's this? Ah, uh, Rusty Spoon. Already donated that. Gunther! Gunther, Gunther, Gunther. I've got something for you. I need to donate it. I'm gonna put this on display. I got a reward for that? What on earth am I gonna get from you? Collect reward. Burnt offering furniture can be placed in your house. I have no clue what on earth this is. It wasn't there some other book that I picked up, the lost book that expanded the library? I could have sworn I picked up another book for the library. Did I not? Huh. Strange. I am... Surprising, I mean, I, 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 I like to think that I'm close to finishing, because I've just basically got this table in a little bit down here. But it'll take forever for me to find the rest of the artifact. 
What is this thing? Dwarf Gadget. It's a piece of advanced technology once known to the dwarves. It's still glowing and humming, but you're unable to understand how it works. Tiger's Eye. A stripe shimmering in gold gives this uh, gem a warm luster. Petrified Slime. This little guy may be a hundred thousand years old. Helvite. It glows in a triangular column. Really? Prismatic Shard, a very rare and powerful substance of unknown origins. Chipped uh, Amphora, an ancient vessel made of the chromatic material used to transport both dry and wet goods. Kyanite. Kyanite, this ge uh, geometric face are as smooth as glass. Golden Relic, it's a golden slab with hieroglyphics and pictures emblazoned on the front. Lunarite, the cratered white orbs form a tight cluster. What is this thing here? Jasper. <laughs> Looks like a heart to me. Hey, Elliot. Oh, I've been doing little indoor exercise since it's often too cold to go out. Really? Oh, sorry if it's a little humid in the cabin. You live on the ocean. I'd be amazed if it wasn't humid in the cabin. Cindersap Forest. Just all information that I've already read. I guess I did collect all the books to the, uh, to the library. Jeez. And you know what's driving me nuts right now? The fact that there's a whole bunch of stuff for me to collect up in town here, so... Like the, uh, the... The foraging thing. Uh, my, my, my foraging radar is going absolutely bonkers right now. Just wah, 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 you know, bright red flashing light or something? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna try to collect stuff up. Which includes hoeing the ground and hoping that I'm actually going to get some artifacts instead of just clay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start stashing the starred stuff over here because the uh, the preserve pots are going to turn stuff over so much faster. And um, you know what I can also do? I can make an entirely new round of preserve pots while I'm at it. So let's go ahead and do some crafting here. Preserve pots. Ooh, that's right. Lamp posts as well. Not wooden lamp posts. But iron lamp posts. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff on the fly. So, got the iron. We'll take the battery packs as well. I want to make five lamp posts straight off. There we go. Five lamp posts. We'll go ahead and put those back. And, um, preserve pots. Uh, what do we want to do? Wood, stone, and coal. So, we've got the coal on us. So, wood and stone. Starting to run low on wood, surprisingly. Um, so there's five more preserve pots. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here, or uh, what my goal is, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Let's make these preserve pots right off. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So, three... We need nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Okay, so we've got nine preserve pots to put down and complete this row again. We'll go ahead and slap a whole bunch of, uh, we'll slap a bunch of remaining corn into these things. There we go. Making good and solid progress, we'll go ahead and hop over here, next, and we're gonna figure out where to put all of these, um, street lights that I've essentially made, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and stash that, we, get, we can take out all of the, uh, the starred quality fruit. Uh, ancient fruit from here, uh, and we need to put this stuff up here... Whoops. Here we go. Now, let's go ahead and put a street light over there. Put another street light right here. You must be cold there, Digi. Man. Uh, maybe we can put, get away with putting a street light right here. And we'll go ahead and grab this stuff up. Man. 
I'm happy. Today today is phenomenally productive. No, 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 no. Don't eat don't eat the duck egg. And we'll go ahead and pop that on like so. We still have to make it down into the mines today. Um let's see, where are we gonna put the last of this stuff? Speaking of which, let's organize so we know what on earth we're selling off and what on earth we're keeping. So We'll put another street lamp right here. And we'll put one here as well. There we go. I'm liking the way that the, this place is looking. Uh, that should be everything. Let's go ahead and pop stuff on to... Uh, let's pop stuff into the uh, sales box. One, two, three, four. And we've got this, um, this ancient fruit and stuff that we need to get rid of as well, so... Well, not really get rid of, but uh, store, essentially. So... Not exactly the most fun or phenomenal way, I'll admit, to spend the last of, um... Stardew Valley. And actually, you know what, now more that I think about- now that I'm actually starting to stop and think about what I'm doing right here, maybe I should just abandon the mine and head back into town and say hello to the rest of the residents. You know, because it's like, it's- it's the end, and for that matter, you know, I don't think I've ever... ...gone out, and yeah, you know what, now that I'm actually talking, I've talked myself into it. Let's leave this mine, let's leave this stinky mine, let's go into town. Let's not stay- spend time in the town, let's head it. Uh, let's not spend time in the stinky mine. Let's go into town and talk to all of the wonderful residents of Stardew Valley, hey? Hey, Clint, what's up? So, how are your tools holding up? Oh, they're holding up just fine. I, I'm, I'm hopeful that they'll actually say some things to me in regards to the new year. I don't actually have me uh, very high hopes that that's actually going to happen, but I can try. Hey, Gunther, doesn't seem like you have anything to donate. Um, Elliot's not in. And, uh, Penny doesn't appear to be teaching the kids today, so... Is there anybody out on the, uh... Nope, nobody's up hanging out on the beach or anything like that. Ooh, something that I could definitely do with is... We'll go ahead and knock back a coffee. And, um, we'll go ahead and empty the traps while we're at it, just, you know, because. Um, since I don't- uh, since I don't have Mr. Ed, my dear horse, a horse is a horse of a course of a course. Uh... Is Lewis home? Hey Lewis, how are you? Oh, hi there, William. How you doing today? If you see Marnie, tell her I say hi. Yeah, well... Looks like I'm not gonna get much of anything new or different. Hey, Maru, how are you doing? I get so sleepy when it's cold. Really? I know how that feels. You should perk yourself up with a warm uh, coffee. Do you ever take a whole day off? It's a refreshing break. You know, Chris Bear. I like getting around outside. What's this? Uh, trying to keep the art of fishing alive. Catch five sardines for me. Eh, I would, but not today. Hey, Pierre, how are you? If I didn't have this shop to run, I would be outside right now. It would be f it would be fun to throw a snowball. <laughs> Just one snowball. I still feel really depressed every single time I come back here and I see Abby's room still fully intact. Man. It just kind of saddens me. <laughs> it's like, no, Abby's not home anymore, even though she's my wife now, so it's... I don't know what to say. Um, 25 seconds or so until that wears off. Uh, most people should be showing up at the bar right now. Let's go ahead and um, have a hop over to the saloon, say hi to people. Maybe Evelyn's home? Hey, Evelyn, how are you? Oh, you should make some hot soup to stay warm. And make sure you wear a jacket. Yeah, well, I'm certain that Alex needs that advice. Hey, the gridball game is on today. This may be my favorite day of the week. Hey, George. Yeah, aren't you cold? They don't like- they don't make sweaters like they used to. <sighs> Whatever you say there, grumpy pants. Alright, well, um, time to head up to the saloon. Hey, Willie. I need a little warm me up. Be ready for another cold night in the ocean. Harvey? Ah, I hate to say this, but I do make a lot more money during flu season. Nah, I guess people if- Nah, I guess if people stopped getting sick, I'd be out of business. Now, ah, don't get me wrong. I want people to be healthy, really. <laughs> hey, Sam. It would be fun if we could go sledding, wouldn't it? You know it. I don't think there's- I don't think there are any good hills nearby, though. Uh, maybe in Cindersap? Plus, I don't have a sled. Oh, that's a bigger problem. So... 
how have you been doing lately? All right. Hey, Shane. Hi, William. I've actually been having a pretty good day so far. Yeah, well, that's good to hear. Uh, Abby's not at the bar. A little bit disappointed about that, but, um, never understand why Friday is more popular than Saturday. Hi, William. Hey, Marnie, how are ya? I'm glad we've become friends. I know I can trust you to take care of my dear animals. You know it. Hey, Pam. Blah, my front yard's a mess. Your front yard is always a mess. Oh, wait, was that a euphemism, maybe? Hey, Gus, how are ya? Blah, business has been steady thanks to my regular customers. Indeed you do. And Emily, my sister and I may fight sometimes, but I would really miss her if she left. Actually, was that all that you had to say? No, it's not. I think she'll become a very nice young lady someday. Uh, don't tell her I said that. <laughs> so, is there anything you want to talk about? <laughs> not really. Hey, uh, Gus, there's something I want. Give me a beer. There we go, that's what I wanted. Give me that sweet stuff. Take a knock this beer back right away. Oh, yeah, there we go. Negative one speed tipsy. Oof. So now I want to try to say hi to Haley before she goes to bed. I don't know that I'll be able to make it into her house in time, though, given that I'm slow. Ugh. Hey, I made it. How are you, Haley? I just thought I'd say hi. Um, if you see Alex, could you tell him I'm busy today? Really? Thanks. That's all you have to say to me? It's a globe. Hey, there's Stardew Valley. <laughs> oh, nice. Is there anything on the tables and stuff that I haven't... There's a book on this table that I can that I haven't read before. What is this? Super Fashion Girl Magazine. Huh. What, uh, what, what do you have over here? It's a refrigerator. It's completely empty. The oven smells sweet like fresh cupcakes. Uh, does that mean that they use cleanser on the oven? <laughs> I don't know. First of spring, year three. Ugh. We've woken up, everyone. It's the first day of year three here in Stardew Valley. Let's check living off the land. Uh, this one's for all of you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage. Just a bunch of reruns at this point. Uh, the weather report is clear and sunny for tomorrow, and the fortune teller says that the spirits are very happy today. So at least we start off the, uh, the day and the season on a very good foot. Let's talk to our dear, my dear wife, Abigail. So, do you have any big plans for the new year? Well, you know, I gotta replant. How, oh my god! I gotta... I gotta starf drop. What was that? You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of profit. Your maximum energy level has increased. Honey, I wanted to give you that fruit as a symbol of my love. I love you too, Abby. Well, I'd, lo I'd love to hang and get some more sugar, but I need to... I, I got work to do. Alright. It's spring. It's time for Grandpa's judgment. At the shrine. All four candles have been lit. Oh my god. Holy crap, the uh, the wine has really turned over. Um, okay, so, very quickly here, I am going to take care of the wine that's turned over, and I'm going to take care of the, the farm animals as well, because, you know, why not? Why not take care of the farm animals? Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're not going to take care of the farm animals first. We're going to look into the shrine that has lit up for me there. Ooh, wait, we got this as well. Man. All right, so. Uh, let's not forget that we've got the scythe here. And we need to uh, harvest up as much grass as possible. Unfortunately, those trees that I planted in the middle of winter didn't um, completely grow up. A bit of a shame, but it is what it is, you know. Gotta refill all these silos. Need to get more silos built as well. Because in Stardew Valley, it's a never-ending process. Let's just clear a bunch of this guff out, so that's not in my way. I got more than 700 p- I got like 700 pieces of freaking hay to collect back up. A real process. Get rid of these, uh, logs, as well as these stones. Here we go. So Grandpa's Shrine has lit up 
several times. Let's see what he has to say to me. The Statue of Perfection, Grandpa Shrine. You found a peculiar statue behind Grandpa Shrine. And this thing is awesome. Let's go ahead and... Let's see what is here. It's made of pure iridium. We're gonna go ahead and hop back to house. I was actually expecting more of an event. More of a uh, cinematic than that, but um... Nope, that was it. Or... Oh my god! What's this? No, we are getting something! Grandpa! My dear boy. It's been many years since we last spoke. You were just a little boy, do you remember? Look how far you've come. Though you may have forgotten me, I've been here all along. You see, my boy? You see... My body has departed this world, but my heart will always remain in Stardew Valley. You've been here two years now. I'm so proud of you, my boy. You've been a better farmer than I ever was, and you've brought great honor to the family name. I can feel it now. My spirit is finally put to rest. Bless you. The future of Strife Farm is in your hands now. Farewell. Oh. Well. That's it, everyone. Thank you. This has been Stardew Valley. Thank you very much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure playing this game for all of you. And uh, I hope, I sincerely hope that all of you have enjoyed watching me play this game as much as I have enjoyed playing it for you. But until the next series and the next episode, thank you very much for watching. I'm William Strife. This has been Stardew Valley on Strife Farm. And I'll see you in another series another time. Thanks for watching, stay well, and bye!